Hey wonderful people, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. All well, almost afternoon, it's 11.45, uh, approaching towards the midday. So this is one review I really wanted to do. I usually do not do these days couple of or three videos anymore because I'm very busy. But uh, I really, really want to do this review because this fragrance is something, it, the, it's, a, it's a flanker of something that I really love, I cherish. I used it a uh, number of years since my college days. And I've been owning this fragrance, like the original one, for uh, more than a decade, I guess. I mean, it's, it's been a long time. I lost track. So the fragrance we're going to be looking at today, it's called Polo Blue EDP, as you can see from the title. And it's a flanker of my very, very favorite Polo Blue, the Pony. It's well, it's disappearing a little bit. And the paint eventually comes off. And this is the aquatic fragrance. It's in classic. And uh, this fragrance, uh, just like Versace Pour Homme, Versace Menu Fresh, uh, Cool Water, this is a classic, okay? Uh, I mean, people say stuff about Polo House, Ralph Lauren. I have been using a number of Polo fragrances, red, black, uh, I have the Supreme Leather, Supreme Oud, I had the Ralph Lauren Safari, list goes on, you know? So Polo Green also was there, but I sold it off, I couldn't take it. But Polo Blue, let's see what the EDP version offers. Basically, in a nutshell, uh, Polo Blue, this fragrance, I have been owning, uh, my dad gave me a gift when I was in college, and it was like a small bottle like this, okay? I never bought, ended up getting a big bottle of bought a big bottle because that's what smaller bottles we could afford. So this was one of my signature scents and uh, back in the days I used to love wearing this in Malaysia. Um, this was, I bought it for the memory's sake before I left, I think, uh, from Malaysia, is a small bottle and I use it a lot when the heat goes up. It's ozonic, watery, aquatic, at the same time got this um, cucumber note and has some greenish vibe at the back but it's not main player. Main player is always the blue. So this is why I love it. So they made intensified version that is the EDP and it's not a new release. It's a 2016 release. I saw it being released. Uh, I always wanted it. I always, always wanted it. I smelled it in the shop. My nose wasn't as advanced. I mean not as, it's not advanced right now but uh, back in the days I wanted something like totally different like let's say I wanted the EDP to be totally different from EDT and I would judge them by initial impression one spray and I'm like oh they're saying no point getting them it's redundant purchase so I did not buy it uh, recently I saw a good deal uh, like at one shop I still didn't buy it because I, I was like hesitant but I finally did it well I paid more <laughs> I bought it from perfume world and uh, the fragrance let's see what you get it was a blind buy they didn't have any testers uh, let me tell you my uh, sh ex share my experience with you well polo blue EDP looks exactly like the polo blue EDT box, except this part, if you just dis make it disappear, uh, the EDP written in a silver, that's what's different. Rest of the box is still same. It's the 125 mil. They come in uh, 75 and 125 mil, I believe. Very simplistic box, blue, blue, and it says uh, uh, Eau de Parfum. And believe it or not, this fragrance, Polo Blue, has five or six flankers. Polo Blue Sport, uh, Polo Blue, blah, blah, blue. <laughs> but I never tried them. So I believe this is the EDP one I really want why take a look at the bottle okay this looks like an upgraded version if you want watch terminator uh like arnold schwarzenegger first movie second film third film how the terminators they kind of like evolve over time look at these bottle differences they are blue same similar but this bottle has this beautiful metal side plate and it's like re reminds me of sort of reflection man by amouage that sort of prestige this bottle looks kick-ass man i'm like I am in all all sort of like praising and everything. I love how this bottle looks. I always loved it. And I wanted the big bottle. And I tell you one thing, after my girlfriend smelled this fragrance uh, on me, and I took the bottle and she immediately bought this exact same bottle. <laughs> so you can figure out, uh, ladies love this stuff, this kind of ozonic aquatic, women love this fragrance. So I'm excited, as you can see, my eyes are kind of lightening up, uh, lightening up, lightening up. Okay, <laughs> never mind, you get what I mean. So I'm going to be a little, like, little bit childish. And I tell you one thing. I love this bottle over my beautiful little Bleu de Chanel and Roja Ada Velisium. Yes, that shit happened. Yeah. I love that Polo Blue EDP over that. That's why it stays in my front row. I'm sorry, I'm being a bit childish. So what is this fragrance like? This fragrance is supposed to be more, a little bit more richer, a little bit more darker. It has an added note of suede leather and cardamom. Uh, they added these notes 
official and fragrant taker. I'll let you know what I think of this fragrance in terms of smell, uh, weathers, seasons, uh, performance and stuff like that. Okay, so beautiful bottle. So the cap, you can pick it up by the cap, no problem, it's not fit. But does it click, click onto place? No, but it's quite snug fit. Okay, snuggy, snuggy, okay, snuggly. And inside the atomizer, always be careful, these are highly faked. Inside the atomizer, this should be blue in color. If you see white, black and other shit, do not buy it, it should be fake. Check out the atomizer, uh, atomizer is pretty damn nice. Oh, I forgot the atomizer is not damn, damn not, it's not that nice. It's pretty much like boom, boom, okay? It gives out a nice sort of a bubbly sort of, a, you know, mist. I'll give this like atomizer sprayer like six out of 10. It's kind of not so good. It's not, you know, what I would like it to be. Apart from the bottle is nice, okay. So this fragrance, it's just like Polo Blue. It just immediately, you can tell, is a summer fragrance, okay? It's a summer day. It's not like Versace Dylan Blue versus Versace, Dil uh, Versace Purum, which means like Versace Dylan Blue is a little bit more potent, darker, and it can be worn during the colder months. I think this is true and true summer scent. It has striking similarity with Polo Blue in the opening. And you might, uh, when you spray them side by side, you might be like me back in the days. You'd be like, no, this is same. This stuff is not necessary if I have this. Yes, if you're just a user, end user, and you don't care about collecting enthusiasm and everything, you absolutely do not need both of them. You just need one. The difference between between these two, let me just clarify. This fragrance, the EDT version, it projects a lot more than the EDP, in my opinion. Uh, but last, like Versace Purum, after two, three hours, gone, okay? That's what this one does, and aquatic, they do that sometimes, you know? But smells amazing. It projects like nobody's business, for the first one to two hours and that's when i get the compliments like versace pura and versace menu fresh so yes projects more last less this one project less last more okay that's the basic difference but in terms of smell how different are they so this fragrance you have to let it develop on your skin and you slowly start seeing that slight bit of uh, cardamom popping up but it's not like a major note major notes remains the c notes citrus says uh, i think the bright sunlight i would put it as a like out there it's like sunny day you know and cucumber all these notes are there and in the dry down it gets a little bit thicker like dior savage edt versus edp if you have tried both you know edp is a little bit more denser than the edt so this is a tad bit denser it does last uh let's say four and a half hours if polo blue lasts like two to three hours this lasts like like let's say four hours let's just say four hours not more than that and this fragrance does have a beautiful opening that's the strength uh, it's fresh it's like oceanic water uh, like aldehydes it's like bright sunny days blue skies that's why i get from this fragrance but on the dry down you get that bit of sweet leather coming in but it's not like gonna be super darken or anything so the cardamom and the leather is just like uh give like slight bit of uh, darker edge to it makes it a little bit longer lasting with the base that's what basically but they say they have a lot of other notes like green notes i think they have mentioned like a lot of these other notes i do not get any of that i don't know it's just my nose or what there are a lot of green notes some florals clary sage patchouli oud raisin i don't get anything from it simply what i get is it's like a sweet uh, aquatic blue fragrance upgraded version of polo blue edt it will last it will perform really well if you have favorable condition like overseas and everything this fragrance is gonna last on you uh like let's say in uk summer days you're gonna get like a push of six hours there our conditions not so favorable our conditions are heat humidity dust pollution noise a lot of uh, cars trucks it's so hot and humid here so during the summer months if you're in the ac room you're gonna get a push of four and half hours okay from this let's say five hours even people can detect if you have good skin and you have good air conditioning going on go out on a bike or everything rough usage this is not gonna do what you want it to do but the smell it comes back with the strength of smell it does have a similarity to aqua digi profumo where is my aqua digi profumo uh, sorry Ugh, it's far i recently got a bigger bottle of it 180 ml this fragrance obviously lasts longer than this but they have definitely similarity if you like this one you're gonna enjoy it this is aqua digi sort of profumo minus the spices this is a lot more spicy makes it a lot more longer lasting a lot more projecting this is going to give you a push of six hours, seven hours, around that range. This is going to give you like four and a half hours. That's my experience. So should you buy it? Should you get it? Uh, if you love aquatics, you should definitely look at this. This 
or the EDT or the sports. I don't know the rest of the I never smell them. But these two definitely are awesome fragrances. If you want to smell nice, fresh, just came out of the shower and you just want to hold that freshness, like Nautica's Voyage can get a little bit like salty, a little bit like, uh, you know, monotonic. This fragrance never fails to entertain me and it's a big hit with the ladies. So remember that, that compliment factor from ladies, high up there, 10 as for compliments. This fragrance women love. I told you my girlfriend bought a bottle, exact same bottle. She just sniffs it, uses it on her own. Um, that's what makes this fragrance special to me <laughs> because I got approval from her. So yes, it's a winner. And as you can see, my excitement, yes, performance, I'll give this like a, a be generous, 6.5 to 7. That's it, uh, if I'm being very generous, that is. Um, like versatility, I think you can wear this during the evening of summers as well. And if it's breezy, it's gonna project like nobody's business. It's gonna last like evening time, six hours, like if there's no sun. But even if there's humidity, it's gonna mix so beautifully. One other thing, it's, it mixes so wonderfully with your skin sweat. Like let's say you're sweating like a pig, okay? And that's not a pleasant scenario, right? But some of the fragrances like Perialis Red, Dylan Blue, and this one, these three fragrances in particular, when it mixes with your sweat, it just like gets better. You're, it makes your sweat sexier. Uh, that's what are, these are some of the special things I love about this fragrance. So I'm not gonna bother about spotty longevity at times. Like it's not a two hours fragrance, but you may get one to two hours if you're on the bike, rough usage. This is good for office indoors handsome gentlemanly it does what versace Purim does um, but does it better okay so this is a modernized version of polo blue amazing looking bottle you're gonna get uh, so these are some of the strong points so overall smell to me polo blue is a perfection 10 the edt obviously this is gonna be a little bit more special i give it 10 i'm gonna give this one eight and a half okay why because it's gonna take time to grow on me like polo blue did over the number of years at least a decade so yeah sentiments always first so this is gonna get a perfect 10 i'm gonna give this fragrance 8.5 out of 10 rating uh, beautiful bottle uh, beautiful fragrance but uh, this fragrance it's like uh, it's gonna take time to grow on you okay but 8.5 is a solid uh, i mean rating for me uh, try this fragrance out it might work for you but see if it works with your skin chemistry remember the good points remember the weak points right so that's all for today thanks for watching and everybody have a nice day it is almost here, as I said before. Enjoy your holidays, drive safe, uh, travel safe, and like enjoy it with your friends and family. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.